O oh Lord, open our lips, and, and our, our mouth shall proclaim, proclaim your praise. praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Psalm 119. Look at my suffering and save me because I have not neglected your law. Defend my cause and set me free. Save me as you have promised. The wicked will not be saved for they do not obey your laws. But your compassion, Lord, is great. Show your mercy and save me. I have many enemies and oppressors, but I do not fail to obey your laws. When I look at those traitors, I am filled with disgust, because they do not keep your commands. See how I love your instructions, Lord. Your love never changes, so save me. The heart of your law is truth, and all your righteous judgments are eternal. Powerful people attacked me unjustly, but I respect your law. How happy I am because of your promises, as happy as someone who finds rich treasure. I hate and detest all lies, but I love your law. Seven times each day I thank you for your righteous judgments. Those who love your law have perfected security, and there is nothing that can make them fall. I wait for you to save me, Lord, and I do what you command. I obey your teachings. I love them with all my heart. I obey your commands and your instructions. You see everything I do. Let my cry for help reach you, Lord. Give me understanding as you have promised. Listen to my prayer and save me according to your promise. I will always praise you because you teach me your laws. I will sing about your law because your commands are just. Always be ready to help me because I follow your commands. How long, how I long for your saving help, O oh Lord. I find happiness in your law. Give me life so that I may praise you. May your instructions help me. I wander about like a lost sheep. So come and look for me, your servant, because I have not neglected your laws. Glory to the Father, and, and to the, the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now and shall be forever. Amen. Joshua chapter 3 The next morning Joshua and all the people of Israel got up early, left the camp of Acacia and went to the Jordan where they camped while waiting to cross it. Three days later the leaders went through the camp and told the people when you see the priests carrying the covenant box of the Lord your God, break camp and follow them. You have never been here before, so they will show you the way to go. But don't get near the covenant box. Stay about half a mile behind it. Joshua told the people, purify yourselves because tomorrow the Lord will perform miracles among you. Then he told the priests to take the covenant box and go with it ahead of the people. They did as he said. The Lord said to Joshua, What I do today will make all the people of Israel begin to honour you as a great man, and they will realise that I am with you as I was with Moses. Tell the priest carrying the covenant box that when they reach the river, they must wade in and stand near the bank. And Joshua said to the people, Come here and listen to what the Lord your God has to say. As you advance, he will surely drive out the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Hivites, the Perizzites, the Girgashites, the Amorites and the Jebusites. You will know that the living God is among you when the covenant box of the Lord of all the earth crosses the Jordan ahead of you. Now choose twelve men, one from each of the tribes of Israel. When the priests who carried the covenant box of the Lord of all the earth put their feet in the water, the Jordan will stop flowing and the water coming downstream will pile up in one place. It was harvest time and the river was in flood. 
When the people left the camp to cross the Jordan, the priest went ahead of them carrying the covenant box. As soon as the priest stepped into the water, the water stopped flowing and piled up far upstream at Adam, the city beside Zarephan. The flow downstream to the Dead Sea was completely cut off and the people were able to cross over near Jericho. While the people walked across on dry land, the priest carrying the Lord's covenant box stood on dry ground in the middle of the Jordan until all the people had crossed over. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Return to the Lord, who Lord will have, have mercy, mercy to our, to our God, God, who will richly pardon. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked abandon their ways and the unrighteous their thoughts. Return to the Lord, who will have mercy to our God, who will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are my ways, are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as far as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. As the rain and the snow come down from above, and return not again, but water the earth. Bringing forth life and giving growth, sowing seed for sowing and bread to eat. So is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me fruitless. But it will accomplish that which I purpose and succeed in the task I gave it. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father and to the Son and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. forever. Amen. Return, Return to the Lord, Lord who will, will have mercy, mercy to, to our God, God who will richly pardon. Luke 9 verses 37 to 50 The next day Jesus and three disciples went down from the hill and a large crowd met Jesus. A man shouted from the crowd, Teacher, I beg you, look at my son, my only son. A spirit attacks him with a sudden shout and throws him into a fit so that he foams at the mouth. It keeps on hurting him and will hardly let him go. I begged your disciples to drive it out, but they couldn't. Jesus answered, how unbelieving and wrong you people are. How long must I stay with you? How long do I have to put up with you? Then he said to the man, bring your son here. As the boy was coming, the demon knocked him to the ground and threw him into a fit. Jesus gave a command to the evil spirit, healed the boy and gave him back to his father. All the people were amazed at the mighty power of God. The people were still marvelling at everything Jesus was doing when he said to his disciples, Don't forget what I am about to tell you. The Son of Man is going to be handed over to the power of human beings. But the disciples didn't know what this meant. It had been hidden from them so that they could not understand it. And they were afraid to ask him about the matter. An argument broke out among the disciples as to which one of them was the greatest. Jesus knew what they were thinking. So he took a child, stood him by his side and said to them, Whom, Whoever welcomes this child in my name welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me also welcomes the one who sent me. For the one who is least among you all is the greatest. John spoke up. Master, we saw a man driving out demons in your name and we told him to stop because he doesn't belong to our group. Don't stop him, Jesus said to him and to the other disciples, because whoever is not against you is for you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. Lord, you, you will guide, guide me with, with your, your counsel, counsel and, and afterwards, afterwards receive me with glory. For I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand. And, and afterwards, afterwards receive me with, with glory. glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. 
you show mercy to our ancestors and remember your holy covenant. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us. To show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way. To give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. To shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to the, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. As, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and shall, shall be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Show your mercy to our ancestors and, and remember your holy covenant. So we come to a time of prayer. Father, I thank you <clears throat> for this morning and even though technical things fail, there's always a way to work round and to join and just pray together. And Father, as we are separated, we pray together as one. The distance does not separate us. Adversity, technical stuff does not separate us, for we are yours in this day before us, may we proclaim unity in you. May we proclaim your life, your love, and everything, Father, that makes us your people, children of God, your church. Lord, this day bless the church as it goes about its business. May it smile and make your love known. Lord, in your mercy. Here our prayer. Lord, we thank you for the refreshing rain, for the cooling temperature, for the break from the, the scorching sun, as nice as that was. And as we hear the gardens breathe a sigh of relief. Lord, we just pray that this change in, in the weather will encourage people to stay indoors not venture out to places where there may be many people gathered together. That this will be an opportunity for us to think again about how we how we go forward, how we respond. Lord, we just pray for your peace to continue to guide our hearts and minds. We pray for wisdom for our leaders and for the medical personnel, for the scientists and virologists who are working so hard everyone Lord who is still working to keep us safe and to keep the country running and to find the best way to deal with what is before us. Mm, yes. Lord we pray, continue to pray for your wisdom, for your inspiration, 
for your courage to do the right thing. And that we may have the discernment to be able to sift through the layers and layers of information that is thrown at us every day and to know what is true. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, the world is up in arms with all that is happening in the United States and across the globe. As a man, as a black man, loses his life to a police officer who asphyxiates him. Father, we pray that people would protest rightly. Yes, Lord. The church in America is divided. The far right church are applauding a president who stands with the Bible outside a church, having had the crowds outside of it cleared so he could stand for this photo opportunity. Father, as the right-wing church applauds, the rest of the church is appalled. But Father, the old word says that we treat people with justice, with humility, with mercy. But we don't use our power to trample underfoot our people. And although yesterday the Radio 5 had a spokesperson on all they did would defend everything that's going on. Father, we pray that governments throughout the world would be right and just, would put its people first, would be firm, would be assured that what it does is right. And Father, we pray for our government as people are clamouring as the popular voices being lost and our government is being pilloried for its indecisions, for its strange decisions and for the people it supports. But Father at the end of the day government is difficult so we pray for our government, we pray for Boris Johnson, his cabinet and for all in authority under him. Remembering the words of the Book of Common Prayer, which speak of our Queen and all under authority of her and her reign. Father, we pray that governments throughout the world would hear your word, be touched by your spirit and act appropriately. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, as it always is when headlines like this hit the news and are inflated by the media, there are those who are trying to stand for a real issue and there are other groups who are just making the most of an opportunity for civil unrest and anarchy. There are voices on both sides of the argument shouting trying to shout each other down, trying to be the loudest, trying to discredit the other side. And in the middle of it all, the main message gets lost. Your message, that we are created in your likeness, mm. all of us, and it doesn't matter what kind of man George Floyd was, whether he was breaking the law. What matters is that his life was ended illegally by one who should have protected him and protected society. 
So Lord, we pray that this fire would burn itself out quickly and that as the dust settles mm. and we sift through the embers, the truth would come to the surface, that justice would be done and that we would learn the lessons. And Lord, may those of us who are on opposite sides of the argument, may we find the grace to listen, to understand, mm. and to debate with each other calmly and reasonably. And Lord, may that be so in every area of our lives, not just in these big media storms but in our individual lives in the interactions we have in the relationships we have especially those that can be difficult those family relationships that just know how to press our buttons and get a wrong response from us lord may we learn from you when to be silent when to how to go and be reconciled how to leave our offering at the altar because we can't bring an offering of praise to you if we are at war with our family or our friends or our neighbours. Father, help us to live in the reality of the forgiveness that is offered to us and bought for us by the blood of your Son, that we may share that same forgiveness with those who hurt us. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our prayer. Father, we pray for all those today who have needs, for those we know who are suffering from cancer, for those who stand by their beds. We pray for Vic and Sue and for Keith and Anne. We pray for Lizzie and her family. For Kevin and Giselle. Father, we pray for Wendy Ray's niece who has undergone a mastectomy for her care and her treatment and for her family and all that's going on in her life. Yes, Lord. We lift to you those who struggle, for those whose lives are filled with darkness even when the sun shines and we pray for those who have issues with their mental health yes. pray for rihanna pray for amy as she is beset by the effects and challenges of alzheimer's and dementia for her family as they care for her for the care homes who provide such good care thinking of Meadow Rith and the specialist dementia homes. We pray for those who work in the care homes, for Lisa and our daughter Gabby, and for all the workers, for they truly are on the front line, giving love, giving care, and knowing that COVID is often something that looms. And I thank you for the care homes in this town that have not seen infections. Father, we pray for George and Mo, Pam and Paul, Alan and Joan, for Enid Gault, for Diane Murray, for Philip that his surgery would come soon, for Olive, Elaine's mum, for Andy and Claire and their mums. Lord, we take a moment now to pray for the people whose names perhaps we only know.
Lord, in your mercy, yeah. hear our Lord. prayer. Father, we pray for those who have un undergone surgery or treatment recently, thinking of Dorothy's sister, Patsy. Others who may be known for, to us, those who are waiting for surgery. Mm. Lord, we pray for their recovery, that it would be good, that it would be thorough. Pray especially for Patsy that the cancer would be would be gone from her body, that her family and she would be able to rejoice together, having already lost siblings this year. Lord, we pray for all those who are recovering from COVID-19, for the long path of recovery that many are finding they have those who have been on ventilators for the psychological as well as the physical after effects. This isn't something that you just get better from. Many will, but those who, who have been really poorly and on ventilators, Lord, that's, that's a life-changing experience. So be with them, Father. strengthen them and help them to make a full recovery. We pray for those who work in the recovery services within the NHS, mm. those who do physiotherapy and occupational therapy and all those other therapies that are not necessarily direct medical intervention but are there to help people get back to life, to some form of quality of life. Lord, we pray for the resources to be there for them as well as those who are treating COVID at the, at the front end, at the blunt end. those who are recovering would not be forgotten and ignored. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah, our, our prayer. prayer. So the collect for today. O Lord, from whom all good things come, grant to us your humble servants that by your holy inspiration we may think those things that are good. And by your merciful guiding may perform the same through our Lord Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our, our Father, Father in heaven, heaven, hallowed be your name. name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, thank you for joining with us. We got there. We did it. <clears throat> it was quick. It was dirty. But who cares? We prayed to the Lord. And that 